Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a six by six inch tile that I'm going to do a bloom on. I already have my uh, base coat down as you can see, and that is the Glidden Essentials Semi-Gloss White with about a tablespoon of Lucas Krill Studio Turquoise and the Golden Fluid uh, Turquoise Phalo. And here I am laying my colors, and today I'm using a combination of the Color Art Primary Elements and some Unicorn Spit Gel Stain. I will have in the description all the colors that I am using. This one here, that reddish color, that is a primary element, and that is called Pumpkin blushing pumpkin and this white color is amsterdam pearl violet and that purple color is one of the unicorn spit uh, gel stain and that's called violet vulture and the red color there is another one of the unicorn spit gel stains called dolly firebird Here is my cell activator, and I'm using three parts Australian Floetrol, one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And now you can see I'm just filling in around on the tile, filling in the rest of the base coat. And again, I will list all the colors I used and the pouring medium recipe in the description. And here I'm going to use the, well I am uh, popping some bubbles here with my skewer. Now I am using the world's smallest leaf blower with no attachments and I'm just blowing that cell activator out and over the paints. You can see some of the cells coming up there. And I do leave it sit for a little bit to let it develop. This combination of colors did work out very well, and I was very pleased with the, um, the unicorn spit, how it worked with the other colors. Here I'm just using that little leaf blower again to um, work on the composition of the flower be before I start spinning it. And here I just picked it up just to give it a little blow with my mouth. And here we go with the spinning process. There I am just picking something out that didn't belong in there. And a little bit more spinning. And you can just see the more I spin here, the more these colors are starting to develop. Now I'm just using my skewer. It's giving it a little more interest, just running it through. Just giving that flower a little bit of a petal look on the outside there with my skewer.
And you can see also that I am just doing some spirals in there. And here you see that I'm actually pushing that, the lighter blue paint into the flower. Another spiral. And now I'm pulling out some of the paint into the blue. Just giving the eye a little more to look at on this little bloom here. I'm going to give it just another spin here. See what develops. And then I decided that I needed to just tip it a little bit just to get the composition the way I liked it. Doing some little curly cues there on the edges. Still working on the composition. Just taking care of some of the air bubbles here. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And again, this is a six by six inch tile that I've done a bloom on. And here is the upper left-hand corner. Just going down the left-hand side. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I'm glad the unicorn spit colors played well with the... Uh, the color art uh, pigments. Very pretty in here. Just the right hand side here. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time I post a new video. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Consider it to help my channel grow. Until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.